the brugada algorithm is for differentiation is this ventricular tachycardia or just supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy like a bundle branch block follow these four steps in order if answer is yes to any step the diagnosis is ventricular tachycardia step 1 absence of rs complex in all precardial leads v1 to v6 that is concordance if all leads are entirely positive only r wave or entirely negative qs complexes it is ventricular tachycardia either positive concordance or negative concordance in precardial leads is suggestive of ventricular tachycardia measure the start of the r wave to the deepest part or nadir of the s wave the distance between these two that is a horizontal if it is more than 100 milliseconds it is suggestive of ventricular tachycardia look for p waves marching independently through the qrs that is a feature of atrioventricular dissociation almost a sure pattern of ventricular tachycardia but this is going to be difficult in a fast ventricular tachycardia in the illustration it is a slow tachycardia or rather accelerated idioventricular rhythm where it is easier to see and hallmarks are fusion beats and capture beats fusion beat is one in which part of the qrs is contributed by sinus beat and part by the ventricular beat so the morphology will be intermediate between a sinus beat and a ventricular beat qrs width will be narrower than that of a ventricular beat but broader than that of a sinus beat capture beat is fully sinus capture it is just like a sinus beat normal pr interval and narrow qrs both are seen in this strip but this is not ventricular tachycardia a variety known as accelerated idioventricular rhythm sometimes also called as slow vt which is typically seen in reperfusion after a myocardial infarction then there are several morphology criteria for ventricular tachycardia which is rather complex the classic vt shape is left rabbit ear taller than right in v1 on the contrary if it is left is smaller that is shown in the picture it is svt with aberrancy that is the typical 